Today I'm gonna make three floating balloon rings, each one bigger than the next. We'll kick things off with a smaller version to nail down the basics. We'll level it up with a glow-in-the-dark version, and then we're gonna cap it off with the biggest floating balloon ring I've ever built. Spoiler alert! It's massive. I'll break down the science of how this all works and I'll throw in a few surprises along the way with lights and lasers and some other cool stuff. So buckle up and enjoy the ride because this is gonna be truly epic. And the best part is I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it yourself. Let's go. Now, how did I get this idea you ask? I was scrolling online when up popped this video of a floating balloon ring. It caught my attention right away. How did the balloon just float there spinning perfectly in the air? How do you do that? I dove deep into the rabbit hole and I noticed one key thing. They were actually floating because of fast moving air, which actually is Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that fast moving air creates low pressure, which allows things to float. Just like this beach ball. Ready? You wanna press it? Go ahead. Now an airplane flies because of Bernoulli's principle. Imagine a plane's wing is like a slide. The air on top moves fast, so it doesn't push down as hard. The air under the wing moves slower and pushes up more. This push from below is what makes the plane lift into the sky. What's cool about this is I don't have to go straight up. I could actually angle it and the ball will be trapped. Was that cool? That was cool. Now let's try it with more balloons. Let's try it with more balloons. The same principle applies even to more balloons. Look how it just changes direction. So how do you make the floating ring balloon? I use 10 balloons, blow them all up. You wanna make sure the neck is really far out so you have this nice flat neck to stick on to the next one. And now for the key part, the gluing. Find the little belly on it, find the edge, put just a little drop of glue on it. Get that other end and just put it right in the middle where that glue is and it'll take about five seconds and it's going to be connected. Three, two, one, just like that. Now do it for the rest of the eight balloons and we're gonna get our ring. Let's do it. We have all 10 connected, so it's just a matter of taking one end, going to the last one and connecting them to get our ring. Let's do it and boom, that should do it. Now let's get the air going. The air is constant. And it's cool how it's sort of just stuck in the column of air. Now, what would happen if I actually aim a laser at it? Are you ready? It's light. Whoa. Whoa. It popped the dark ones. It was so close that it popped them instantly. What would happen if they're all black? Let's try it out. Now, I want to show you the airflow with the fog machine. And the air just carries it. Will the lasers pop the balloons in three, two, one? There we go, there's one. We'll try to pop another one, it's moving really fast now. Two, three. And it's still floating, it's still floating, look at that. It's still floating. Five, it's still floating, we got three balloons still in the air. Oh, and we have one surviving balloon. And that is, boom. And if it's clear, look at that. Well, this gives me an idea. Let's light them up. I take the laser and I draw all over it. See the streaks going around it? Look at that. That is what is causing the balloons to glow. The phosphor that's in the spray paint is on the balloons and that is what's causing it to glow. Now watch what I do with this laser. Check this out. The glow in the dark paint is absorbing the laser. I'm actually writing on it now. When I shut the lights, you're gonna see the balloons glowing. Look at that. How epic. With the stars above. It's like a planet. Like a glowing portal. How cool is that? Now I have these extra LED lights and I had some extra balloons. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Three, two, one, lights. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's amazing.
This entire journey started with one simple idea, a floating balloon ring I found online. But I wasn't just going to stop at watching someone else do it. No, I wanted to take things to a whole new level. We built one ring, then we leveled it up with glow in the dark, and then we did lasers. But now, we're going big. This is the ultimate test. 24 inch balloons and the biggest air blower I could find. If this works, we'll have created something truly epic. The biggest floating balloon ring ever. Are you shocked that it's working? We've pushed the limits, learned the science, and scaled it up every step of the way. This moment isn't just about balloons, it's about showing that when you dream big, the results are unbelievable. I wanted to create something larger than life, and this, this is it. Whether you're into science, building things, or just chasing your wildest dreams, moments like this prove one thing. Anything is possible when you push yourself. This giant ring right here, it's not just a project, it's proof that you can turn the craziest ideas into reality. This is Incredible Science. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in for the next video, and until next time, stay incredible.